Looking for fun ideas for holiday jewelry? This Christmas tree project is for you. So today we're going to be making Christmas tree earrings, which is really fun and just perfectly kitschy for your holiday jewelry. I've got a couple different pairs that I've made right here, one in red and one in green, because why not, right? Um, and you can see like they're really fun. The base of this is the way they're going to end up and then you can embellish them lots and lots of different ways. I've even done this little thing right here, which you can use these to as like holiday placeholders for your um, like if you were having like a dinner or something like that, you could put people's names in there, kind of neat, right? Um, or you could even display jewelry on them. Okay, to get started with this project, you're gonna need some tools and supplies. So let me go through everything I've got here so we can get started the right way. This is gonna be a, a bale shaping flyer. And I like this one because it's got two different sizes of bales. Uh, lots of them have six different sizes. You can use that as well. Just kind of depends on you know the sizes of the little swirls that you want. I find a three and a five millimeter works perfectly for this. You're also going to need a round nose plier for a little later in the project to make little uh, droplets off of your trees and a chain nose plier for moving things around, squishing, opening and closing and all those important things. Then we will use a flush cutter to cut our wire. The wire that we're going to be using today is kind of big. It's a 12 gauge aluminum wire. Only wire I've ever been able to find that's in this really fun color assortment and also really big and also really light. So this is aluminum wire. If you've never worked with it before, it is super, super malleable, meaning it bends really, really easy, but then it does hold its shape. So it's really light in your ears when you're wearing a little larger earring like these are going to be. Um, but it's really easy to work with. I find this to be a great wire for somebody who's never worked with wire before because it bends easily and always looks great. Now, in order to finish up the earrings, you're going to need a pair of ear wires, which I have right here. You're also going to want to do some cute little accents. We're going to use some crystals. Those are six millimeter bicone crystals and a couple head pins to dangle them off the bottom. Okay, so we're going to get started with our aluminum wire, working right off the spool here. I'm just flush cutting the end of the wire. And I've got one of these. I'm just going to put this right up here at the top so you guys can kind of see. It's almost like a little road map so you can see where I'm going. Kind of helps me too because we're going to want to make a matched pair. What you do is you take the end of the wire right where you flush cut it and you use that three millimeter bale shaping plier and roll this into a simple circle like so. And you can even use your little chain nose plier. You don't want to do a lot of working of this aluminum wire because it is coated and you can actually scratch this, um, this color off of it if you're not careful. So it's not going to happen with these round nose pliers, but you can do it with your chain nose pliers because they've got some sharper edges. So next step is to take the three millimeter bale shaping plier and bend this back into another loop like so. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this. Normally I work right from the spool to conserve wire, but it's with it hanging off the end, it's kind of hard for me to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and cut myself about a foot of wire. And just clip that off at the end. Next, just keep going with that three millimeter bale shaping plier. So what I do to get my plier inside there is I kind of pull this open just a little bit so I have a little space and grasp this right next to or in, inside and underneath that loop there and bend this back into another loop like that. And then I'll push that first one down so I can kind of see, make sure I'm going in the right direction. All right, next time I'm gonna open this up again, still using that three millimeter bale shaping plier, grasp it right at the edge. And you can make these as big or small as you want to. It just kind of depends on your own personal preference, how big you want your tree to be. And then I'll open this up again, grab it with three millimeters and Bring that across like so, push that up. See where we're going? So I'm like right here in the process. So one more with the three millimeter. Grab right there. And if, can you guys see that? See, I'm just a little bit to the left just to kind of get just a little bit more distance so that the each bough of the tree gets a little bit bigger. If you go too far out, I will tell you it's amazing. Just like one millimeter will make it really huge. So just really, really tight in there just to get it just a little bit bigger so it kind of graduates as you go down. So there's that next one, close that up. And here's where we're at. 
And then the next one, I usually kind of switch up for the bottom bows and, and go a little bit bigger with that five millimeter bail. Just looks a little nicer. It gets a little bit more dimension in your tree. And the last one right here, grab that. Oops, make sure you turn it the right way. Five millimeter, roll that in like so. And ta-da, starting to look like a tree. And then this last guy is where you have choices. So first of all, you see how my little, my very top one is just a little bit off to the side. I like them to be a little bit more in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is turn this over and just flush cut this end just a little bit more. And roll that in using the same plier. So it sits a little bit closer to the middle like that. And now down here at the bottom, here's where you have choices. If you want to do something cute, like make these little placeholder settings or the earring stands, you can keep the wire long and do a little coil at the bottom so it stands up just like that. Or if you want to keep going with the project that we're doing today, like make earrings, what you're going to do is you're just going to trim this off right at the very edge of your project. So make sure you make a, a good flush cut on the end using your flush cutter. And if you guys don't know how to use a flush cutter, very interesting tool. If you cut it one way, it's going to end up pointy. But if you turn the plier so that that flush flat side right here is up against the piece you're working on, you'll get a nice flat flush cut. So now here I am at the bottom and I'm just going to take my three millimeter bail shaping plier and I'm just going to roll this into a circle at the bottom and press that in, making a little tree shape. I went a little bit shorter with this one, so and, and honestly, since I did go a little bit shorter, I probably would take this last little loop off. And I like it better, just a little bit longer. You can make them as long or short as you want. You can make little mini trees if you want to. You can make big long trees. You can make, you can make Christmas ornaments if you want to. But um, I like to make them just one loop longer. So I'm going to use this one to finish up my project. And since I already have a matching one, it makes it a lot faster. So the next step essentially is to embellish your trees. And uh, so I have got a couple little crystals here. These are six millimeter bicone crystals that I want to attach to the bottom. So I'm just gonna use some head pins and I'm gonna make little dangles and hang them from my trees. So in order to do that, what you're gonna do is just pop one of those little beads onto your head pin, bend it off to the right in a 90 degree angle and then trim this about three eighths of an inch is a, is a nice measurement. If you wanna measure that, you certainly can. I usually just kind of eyeball it. I'm just gonna trim that off and I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the other one. Bend it off to the right, about three eighths of an inch. Done and done, like that. And then you're gonna take your round nose plier, grab this at the end and roll it into a loop, just like so. And same thing on the other side. That one's a little bit long, so I'm gonna trim it off just a little bit. And grab it and roll it into a loop. So that's a little open connector that you could open and close. It's almost like a jump ring that you can attach in a lot of places. So in order to attach this, what you're gonna do is just grab it with your chain nose plier. And, and if you guys aren't familiar with these pliers, I switched from a round nose plier to a chain nose plier to do this next step. Round nose pliers are round all the way around and they will mar your wire if you try to grasp and open and close things. So I switched to a chain nose plier, which is flat on the inside. So when I twist this up like so, doesn't mar my wire. So twist it up, pop it onto the bottom, get that out of your way and twist it back closed, just like so, so it dangles there. And then on this side right here, twist up, pop it on and twist closed, like so. And then we're gonna do the same essential technique to attach the ear wires. So I have a pre-made set of ear wires here Oops. You can make these yourself. You can get them in a store, whatever you want to. At the top, there's always gonna be like a little opening. So you just twist that open, pop your earring on and twist it closed. Same thing on the other side. Twist it open, add your earring 
and twist it closed. And then you have some adorable little Christmas tree earrings to wear for your next holiday party. So let's go through some of the tools and supplies that you need for this project again, just to make sure we've got them all together. This is going to be your bale shaping plier. This one has a three and a five millimeter bale shaper on the end. Next, we used a round nose plier just to form those little dangles at the bottom of your Christmas trees and the chain nose plier that we used for opening and closing and finishing our earrings. And finally, we used a nice solid flush cutter here to cut our wire and uh, cut our head pins as well. The wire that we used today was a 12 gauge aluminum wire, super, super light, and it's colored green and red just for authenticity. And of course we had a pair of pre-made ear wires that we used and some cute little red crystals to embellish our earrings. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys would like to pick up some of the supplies I worked with today, check out the links down below. What other holiday projects would you like to see us do? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And now that you know how to make Christmas tree earrings, you can say, I made this.